Good morning, I am Rafael Canoparra, a PhD student of the Group of Intelligent and Cooperative Systems at the University of Valladolid, Spain. And I'm going to present our research work uh, on the use of cloud computing to support simulation based learning scenarios in education. This is the outlook of the plan, and I'm following the presentation, which represents the motivations of our work and then describes the cloud DN is I as a concrete software as a service of such application for our proposed system. As you can see in our paper, we propose a real scenario for a course of computer networks. This consists of four to our laboratory sessions to uh, study a model network uh, uh, that is given by teachers. Um, in this model, the students must observe the phenomena of a GCP connections using different values for the parameter that describes in this model. This model performs a parameter switch, exploring a range of values for significant parameters. For example, in a combination of 15 values for a delay parameter and 6 values for a big frame, uh, it's required to run uh, 90 uh, individual simulations. In a traditional computer laboratory, this individual simulation should be run concurrently. And in the case of a two-core processor, that is a, 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 a computer in our lab, the estimated running uh, can take uh, 90 minutes. In our research work, we propose to benefit the scalability of cloud computing to run simulations in parallel in a closed infrastructure but using access applications to expose a simple functionality to teachers and students. Our scenario is an example of how simulation can be used in learning, but how also how response time can be a problem in a, in a real classroom. But institutions can address this research by new infrastructure, like uh, more computers for a lab or a cluster. This approach has a high cost of ownership, and after results are overprovisioned and later underused. Another approach is used on existing SAS applications in the cloud, as we use Google Docs to write a document. But in the case of simulation based learning scenarios, it's difficult to find a SAS application to meet the requirements. The requirements. However, we can deploy our new custom SAS on top of an ES, an ES close, an infrastructure as a service close. Similar to the approaches followed by Amazon, uh, Facebook, or Twitter to deploy services on top of an Amazon ES. This way, we can reduce response times using as many resources as needed, and at the same time, it does require to own the infrastructure and lose cost as it uses thanks to the very produced building model. Then, following this approach, we propose the architecture to construct a SaaS application called Closed Based Distributed Network Simulation Environment. It consists of eight servers. But the most important part that is relevant to this uh, talk is the relation between the scalability service and simulation service using the cloud provider logic. When the monitoring service detects that it needs more resources, the scalability service asks the cloud provider logic to scale up the, to scale up the, the infrastructure and then launches new simulation services in virtual times. Then, when the services are released, when the monitoring service detects that some virtual machines that run the simulation services are below. If we use a SaaS application in the proposed real scenario that I explained at the beginning of the presentation for a class of 40 students and divided in groups of two and using an completely an Amazon ES cloud, a cost estimation could be between 32 and 210 euros depending on the price of the virtual instances in this moment. 
and includes if the institution uses an hybrid cloud combining private and their own private cloud in the case that he has a private cloud and a public cloud like Amazon, the cost will be reduced. All in all, on the proposal it illustrates some benefits of the use of cloud computing services in simulation based learning. The first as the first benefit is full of cost savings by paying only for the resources that are users and the time that we can use them. The scalability benefit of the cloud can help to achieve a reduced response times in our application, preserving as many simulation services as we need in order to realize individual simulations. Finally, if we want to build a new service for other learning scenarios, we can reduce the um, infrastructure service of, the, of this application and we can use other operators with the AES providers. As we see in the figure, we can divide our AES services in, in layers. On these layers, uh, there are four services in persistence and scalability that could be reduced and in the, this could be in the EAS provider or this will offer by the EAS provider. However, the application services need to be re-implemented with the, log the, the logic of the, of the concrete application. For example, um, the scalability service that we implemented will, will be replaced with the uh, of the scaling service in the app. That's, that is all, and um, thank you, and I'm happy to answer your questions. <laughs>